A large fire breaks out at a warehouse at an industrial park at Fort Atkinson. Firefighters say the building holds a large amount of military tires, and that's why there is so much black smoke. Large amounts of very large um, heavy equipment tires, also some chemical storage, and also some cans and cardboard from a local canning company that's located just to the north of this building. The fire has drained most, most of that city's water supply, so the plan is to let the fire burn out, but crews created a firewall to prevent it from spreading to other buildings. It could burn through the night. Tony Galley has been following the story all day for us. We're going to go live to him now in Fort Atkinson. Now, Tony, what does the fire look like right now, and has any progress been made? fire is raging right now here on Oak Street in Fort Atkinson. In fact, right behind me, you can see those yellow flames just leaping from the wood of the warehouse building. That's really the centerpiece of the fire scene. Now, firefighters from possibly a dozen departments are here battling the fire. When this fire at the old Thomas Industries plant broke out, there were enormous plumes of black smoke shooting into the sky, and those plumes continue. Uh, city officials say there are roughly 50 people evacuated from nearby homes. Now, among the firefighters in this battle against the blaze today is Dennis Verhalen's son. Um, I have complete confidence in him. I never worry from that standpoint, and especially when I got down here and saw that it was the warehouse part, I wasn't as concerned, but uh, I know as a father, I'm always concerned, but not worried. He's well trained. And father and son reunited during the firefighters' brief break from battling this inferno. And you can see from Robbie's camera view, uh, almost everyone in Fort Atkinson can see, even at this hour, that tremendous black smoke above the treetops here on Oak Street, fairly close to the downtown. The upside tonight is that there have been no injuries, only two firefighters slightly affected by the heat. And again, the plan is to hopefully let this fire burn out, and that could take many, many hours. Reporting live from Oak Street in Fort Atkinson, Tony Galley, 27 News.